All right, so in this question, they ask us which expression represents this in simplest form. And this is negative 14 times a squared times c to the eighth over 7 a to the third times c squared. Now, this is actually really nice because what you're going to end up doing here is using the associative property to group this fraction into three groups. This first group right here, this group, and then the last group. You're looking at this in three different groups and that's going to help you reduce almost instantly. And after I show you how to reduce this and simplify it, I'll talk about why this makes sense. So negative 14 divided by 7. Those are the numbers here, the coefficients, so we divide those first, nice and straightforward. What is negative 14 divided by 7? Well, negative divided by a positive is a negative, and 7 goes into 14 twice. So that's negative 2. Next, we have a squared over a to the third. I use my laws of exponents. If you remember, if I have a to the power of x, right, over a to the power of y, as long as a is the same base and I'm dividing, I could just subtract the exponents. Right, so this equals a to the x minus y. In this case, it's going to equal a to the 2 minus 3. And we'll get back to that in a moment. Our last group is c to the 8th over c squared. That's going to equal c to the 8 minus 2. And we can simplify this a little bit. Because here, a to the 2 minus 3, that's going to equal a to the negative 1. Right, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And that's a way of writing 1 over a, right? 1 over a and a to the negative first power are identical. Um, and other examples I could have, let's say, a to the negative second. What would that equal? Well, that would equal 1 over a squared. Basically, what this means is you take um, the base and put it in the denominator, right? And put it over 1 and keep the exponent but make it positive. So you flip it, right? Take the reciprocal of this and reverse the value of the exponent. That's what's happening here. So in this case, that means we'll have negative 2, right? c is going to be c to the 6th power over a over a, or a to the 1st, right? 1 over a. I just combined it and simplified it. And that's going to end up equaling choice 4. Now why does all this work? Why does this make sense? Why are we able to group them up and, and simplify? So let's just clear this off. Um, What's nice about this process is that we're multiplying. So in a simple sense, let's look at something like 4 times 8 divided by right, 2. Let's say I have it written like this, where it's, right, let's say 4 times 8 divided by 2. Well, dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a half. So 4 times 8 times 1 over 2. Now what's nice about this is now the only operation I have left is multiplication. And when the operation is multiplication, you can do lots of things, right? We can use the commutative property to multiply in any order, and we can use the associative property, right, to group in any order. So I could solve this in many ways now. I could think of 4 times a half, right, times 8. Well, that equals, I can do these first, right? I could do a half times 8 first, and then multiply that by 4, or I can multiply 4 by 8, and then multiply that by a half. I can keep going with this idea, right? Because here in the first one, 4 times a half is 2, and 2 times 8 is 16. A half times 8 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, right? These are equal. 4 times 8 is 32, and 32 times a half is 16. So the idea is that we're reviewing division as multiplication. Because once we do that, we can group things in any way we want. If we look back at our problem here, right, this, this originally you could be read as negative 14 times a squared times c to the eighth, divided by all this stuff. But we're viewing it as multiplication, right? Multiplication of 1 over 7 times 1 over a to the third times 1 over c squared. And that, and that, you know, that interpretation allows us to do all this stuff where we group it and associate uh, certain like terms, and that's how we simplify. All right, hope that helped.